there's a rise in incidence of kidney cancer, not because there's any bad environmental uh, factors that's causing kidney cancer, but I think it's, it's a matter of technology. And people are getting CT scans and MRIs for different reasons. Um, CT scan for abdominal pain or back pain, uh, MRI for back pain. And those uh, imaging tools are actually picking up small incidental renal tumors. We're actually diagnosing it much earlier, so therefore they don't have symptoms. Laparoscopic nephrectomy is a minimally invasive surgery. It's a technique which utilizes small incisions and camera. The traditional uh, incision for kidney surgery is about, the incision is about this long. Um, it, it is on the side. The minimally invasive surgery for kidneys will involve uh, incisions maybe not big, maybe two, three, and uh, a little bigger incision to extract the specimen, so maybe that big. Minimal invasive surgery, patients typically stay for maybe two, three days in the hospital, and their recovery time is much shorter. I typically uh, tell patients that it will take about maybe two, three weeks to completely regain their baseline function um, at home. So after undergoing uh, nephrectomy, which is removing the kidney, they're left with one kidney. Their quality of life should not be affected. However, because you have one, you need to, be to get better care of yourself. That includes um, better managing high blood pressure if they have one, um, better managing their diabetes if they have it, other behavioral changes, stop smoking. Procedures for a kidney, obviously, is not just cancer. I mean, pa patients will have kidney stones. Um, large kidney stones also have uh, typically been removed with a large incision, an incision maybe this big. Same thing for kidney cancer. But uh, with the minimal invasive uh, procedures that are out and that I can do here at Washington Venice will involve small incision like that in the back and go directly into the kidney and remove kidney stones.